Welcome to The Trading Prodigy, where we examine the lives of some of the greatest investors and traders of our time. Today, we'll be exploring the journey of George Soros, the legendary hedge fund manager who's known as the man who broke the Bank of England. Born in Hungary in 1930, Soros faced many challenges growing up. Despite the turmoil of World War II and the Nazi occupation of Hungary, he showed an early aptitude for numbers and economics. After escaping communist-controlled Hungary in 1947, Soros immigrated to England to study at the London School of Economics. It was there that he discovered his passion for trading. He worked hard to support himself, taking on part-time jobs as a railway porter and waiter. He then landed a job at a London-based hedge fund, where he quickly rose through the ranks to become one of the top traders in the world. In 1992, Soros made headlines when he placed a daring bet against the British pound. He believed that the Bank of England was artificially propping up the value of the pound, and he saw an opportunity to profit from its eventual collapse. He was right, and he made over $1 billion in a single day. This trade solidified his reputation as one of the greatest traders of all time. In recent years, Soros has shifted his focus to philanthropy. He has donated billions of dollars to causes such as democracy and human rights, education, and health care. Through his Open Society Foundation, Soros has funded a wide range of initiatives aimed at making the world a better place. The story of George Soros is one of brilliance, perseverance, and vision. Despite the many obstacles he's faced along the way, he's remained true to his beliefs and has had a profound impact on the world. That's a wrap on this deep dive into the life and legacy of George Soros. We hope you enjoyed learning about his incredible journey from a young boy in Hungary to one of the world's greatest traders. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more inspiring stories from the world of finance and investment. Until next time, we'll see you on Wall Street.